Good morning, everybody. Google Lady Charlotte. Got to get my windshield wipers. Um, I'm on my way to work as usual, and um, I want to talk to you about some things. I want to talk to you about some things that can ruin Thanksgiving. You know, it ain't, it ain't gonna be a lot, you know, because it don't. It only takes me like four minutes to get to work. But let's start with the first one. Let's get right into it. Some things that will ruin Thanksgiving meal at your house instantly. Number one, a turkey dry as a powder house on the inside. Yeah, that'll ruin your Thanksgiving. You cut, you've been cooking that turkey all day, brining it for two, three days, and then it's time to put it in the oven. You take it out the oven, and it's got a, a iron skin on it. And then when you finally get through the iron skin, it's like poof, your turkey is dry as a powder house. Yep, that'll ruin Thanksgiving. Then another thing that'll ruin Thanksgiving is. You make potato salad, and somebody crunched down on not just one eggshell piece, but several. That would have nobody else eat your egg salad or your, your potato salad. Some people put eggs in their potato salad. I like that. Some people put a little bit of mustard. I, I ain't going to get into that. Anyway, but that will stop everybody else at that table from eating your potato salad. And I'm going to tell you right now, in the black family, we always say, who made the potato salad? Because everybody can't make potato salad. Some people don't know how to separate the egg, the, the boiled egg from the from the uh, the shell. They ain't quite got that gift yet. They don't. It's an art to that. They don't have it. They don't have it. Um, something else that'll spoil Thanksgiving. If you make cranberry sauce and forget to put the sugar in it, or you don't put enough sugar in it, that's just crazy. Just boil, just boiling the berries. Ah, it's gonna jelly up. Stop messing with the room Thanksgiving. Jello shooters that haven't set. I know y'all thinking jello shooters. You got to have some alcohol at the Thanksgiving. Okay, not everybody, but Thanksgiving houses I go to. But anyway, that'll mess up Thanksgiving. The jello shooter shots didn't didn't jelly all the way. And then you got some liquid floating around the edges. That'll mess it up. We're gonna we're gonna eat it, but it's gonna mess it up. We're gonna be mad at you. We're going to be mad, but we're going to eat it because it's alcohol in there. We ain't going to let that. We're going to throw that out. Something else that'll mess up Thanksgiving? If you make a cake and the cake is still undone on the inside because you didn't stick the toothpick down the middle to see what it was. You know what I'm saying? You can't make a cake and then don't do the toothpick test. Even I know that. And I'm not a baker. But even I know that. You got to do the toothpick test. You don't cut into a piece of cake chocolate or a German chocolate or whatever your favorite cake is, red velvet, whatever. And you get in there, that center is wet and jiggly. That's a messed it up. You done messed it up. Everybody mad at you. I'm going to tell you something messed up and messed up Thanksgiving. Now, I don't know how many of y'all out there eat chitlins, but in, in the South, chitlins is a thing. I'm going to tell you what a mess up Thanksgiving. Let somebody find a piece of straw or a piece of corn in your chitlins. That's a wrap. People won't eat your chitlins for years. Right now, I don't eat my, my middle sister chitlins. One time she made one mistake, and that was over 20 years ago. She made one mistake. She had some straw and corn in her chitlins. That shut it down. Her kids eat it, but the rest of the family, me and my mama and my other sister, uber lady little sister, mm-mm. Uh -uh. We'll mess with it. She'll be like, come on, guys. It was 20 years ago. Whatever. Whatever. I don't trust you no more. But let let mess up like that. Have some straw, some corn in your... You better pick it out before anybody else see it and go through them chitlins one more time. Mm -hmm. Something else. What's something else that'll mess... Oh, something else that'll mess up Thanksgiving. Sweet potato pie. When you got too much vanilla in it and it's lumpy. Sweet potato pie is supposed to be velvety smooth creamy. Melt in your mouth. You know, like, only grandmas know how to make um, sweet potato pie. Only grandmas. Them the, grand, them the ones. They, you can just look at them and just say sweet potato pie across their head. You know them the ones. Then you gotta look at their hands to make sure their hands is nice and look like they've been cooking. Them cooking hands. You know, cooking hands. You gotta have a certain amount of wrinkles to be able to, you know, to be able to cook good. Because that's the experience. That's the experience. Let me see. Is there anything else that'll mess up Thanksgiving? Oh, 
when somebody tries something new, but I told y'all that in another video, somebody tried something new, bringing their bringing they stuff, and they didn't test it, like a couple of weeks beforehand, see, I'm going to tell you about Thanksgiving, you're supposed to start testing your stuff a couple of weeks before you actually bring it to somebody's house, that's what you do, you test your stuff, you just don't cook something new, and oh, I'm going to try this green bean casserole, and you ain't never casserole the green bean, you can't do that, that's all right, that's all right. And to all those I say that, that only let you bring, they only let you bring cups and paper plates and napkins, take pride in that. Yeah, they're telling you you can't cook. They don't trust your cooking yet. You ain't on the cooking team. So, or the cooking committee. You're not on that yet. But just go and bring them cups and plates and napkins and uh, be happy. Don't mess it up. You bring the right side. You bring the red solo cups. Unless y'all have the theme, then you find out from the one that's in charge what type of um, cups, cups they bring. That's what you do. All right, what kind of what color cups and all that? You just can't, you know. The theme is orange and orange and yellow, and then you bust up in there with some purple cups. You can't. You messing it up. And they won't even let you bring cups next year. You're gonna be on napkin detail. So anyway, I'ma go. I just thought I shared that with you. Uh, as for me and Thanksgiving, I'm not doing nothing. I'm off that day, so I'll probably watch some football and. um Pack me a, a tube of aluminum foil and some paper plates from the dollar store. That way, when I go to people's houses, they can't say, Oh, I, you got, I ain't got nothing to put you none in. Don't worry. I got a tube of aluminum foil, and I got some paper plates, and I got a pack of red Solo cups. So, now I'm going to get in here and put on my, put on my, my um, eyeliner because I came out here without none. So, I was going to be late for work. All right, I'm going to go. I love you guys. And um, happy Thanksgiving. And I'm sure I'll be getting back with you. It's the Lord willing. All right. Bye.